LGBTIQ rights are right now. It's split across our country. At the moment, we're fighting for equality in many different ways. And I currently live in New York City, where I feel completely accepted and equal and part of my community and part of all of the communities. Welcome. Um, but I'm from Texas originally, and I did not feel welcomed there. I felt um, ashamed and scared and frightened. And when I moved to New York, it was because I, I needed to. And there are certain family members that I just don't even talk to to this day. And they tell me they love me, but um, they're not showing up. And that's kind of where this play came from. In our country, you feel accepted and you have a lot of rights. But when you go to other areas, it's, it's not the same and you're hiding. So I think that we have a lot of growing to do and that we need to come together and unify around acceptance and love. Tell me, did not having a vagina help you have a child? <laughs> I just mean it's nice that you have real problems too, Mary Poppins. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk about parenting today. No, you just don't want to talk about parenting with me. Well, um, I think the LGBTIQA community in the United States has been fortunate in some ways in that there have been great strides forward in the past 20 years, very fast, you know, um, and people have been able to get married and adopt children and, um, and there's a lot more general societal acceptance of, of that community, um, but it's not total and um, I'm sorry to say that I feel like with the current government we have, there have been a lot of attempts to take steps backwards, and it's very distressing. Um, <laughs> as far as the difference, um, I, I only know what I've been told. And you know, I was at the Pride Center yesterday, and you know, I can see some similarities to the community there, to what um, the community was like maybe 20 years ago, you know, um, a lot of energy and a lot of excitement, but, um, you know, I, I noticed that there has to be a security officer there, you know, uh, and I don't think that is so much the case anymore in the States, you know, um, but it's, it's wonderful to be here and be a part of it because it feels like I'm able to be part of history, which is really nice. <laughs> Was there anything in here that upset you? On Thursday, you seemed bothered by one of the pictures. I was bothered by one of the pictures. I was bothered by this picture. I have to say, I was in front of the Pride Center a lot this week, and I was so impressed by the young people who are passionate and who are handing out flyers. And I think a lot of young people in the US take things for granted. And here, you're not taking anything for granted. And you're making sure you smile at everyone who passes by as you give them that pamphlet, whether or not they smile back, whether or not they want to take the pamphlet. And just showing them that you're part of their community and just showing them that you're there to smile for them and that you hope that they'll show up and smile at you. That, that's inspiring. And I hope that in Serbia, you will have equal rights. You'll be able to marry who you want to marry. You'll be able to get IVF if you want to get IVF. And you'll be able to raise families, not just a few people raising families, but anyone who wants a family should be allowed to have a family and should be welcomed. OK, so I, I'm going to say something. And you're probably going to think I'm overreacting. But when you came here, we gave you a list of products not to bring into our home, right? Well, this was on the list. Well, um, I think, again, we're, we live in a bubble in New York City, and that's the problem. And we need to burst that bubble, and we all need to come together across the country. It's, it's, there's a lot of division right now, and we need to learn how to come together and, and be equal. Um, I, I haven't had any hurdles in New York City with my art, and my art really is about building that bridge and talking about everyone's point of view. And I am really excited by Mayor Pete Buttigieg, who's running for president right now, who is redefining morality and what morality can mean. And he is a veteran, he is a Christian, and he is out gay with the family. And I'm so inspired when I hear him speak because he is the most moral and real man who is really speaking from the heart. 
um, I'm also impressed with Elizabeth Warren, with Kamala Harris, and with these wonderful people. I, I don't consider them to be progressive. I just consider them to be moral, and I consider them to be right and what we need right now. What are they doing out there? It's involving a ball. Yeah, Philip can't even catch when a two-year-old throws. It's your nanny is better than both of them. She's intense. Where's she from? She's Dominican, like Philip. Oh. But she seems more ethnic than Phil, right? Don't say that. I didn't mean it as a Please. Is she legal? You sound like our mother. Uh, the play specifically, um, it's, I think it's an opportunity for people to see that, um, to, to, to both to both see the, the, the side of um, the parents, the gay parents, and also people in their families who may have mixed feelings about um, seeing someone in their family be a gay parent, you know? Um, and I hope that we can help people to recognize that even if you sympathize with all the characters, <laughs> there is a wrong and a right in, in that situation, you know? And um, in, in general, I mean, the theater has always been, we've tried to be a more welcoming community, you know, um, a more open community and open to diversity, to different kinds of people, to people who live different ways, you know, um, and so I've been proud to be part of that. Um, you know, so I think it, the theater has been like a, a place to start, you know, and uh, and it also was a tool for activism in the, in the 80s anyway in the United States during the AIDS crisis. Um, the theater was a very important mechanism for getting the word out about people who were dying and most of the country didn't know about it. Um, so the theater has a very proud history of supporting the LGBTIQ community. <laughs> We felt like we were moving forward. What the actual fuck happened? Frankly, I voted for Obama twice, but I don't know that he did that much. He made it so I could legally get married. You know, um, we've performed the play in three, two cities now, in New York and in Dublin. And so in New York, the characters really hated, the, the audience really hated the character that I am playing. <laughs> <laughs> who is the person who interferes in the relationship between the parents and the child. Um, in Dublin, though, it was a lot more nuanced. There were a lot more people who understood where Claire was coming from, maybe because Claire is Catholic and, and Ireland is a Catholic country for the most part, or for a large part. Um, here, I, I don't know. I, I hope people will be open to the idea, and, um, and I expect the reaction to be more nuanced here as well, honestly. <laughs> Do you think Caleb understands why he is with two daddies. Maybe you are too much. I am a supporter of their rights. I'm just, I have trouble seeing this in their home. Um, you know, I, I think in New York, it scared some people to see the play and to see how realistic it is and how people who say they love you and say they're on your side can uh, suddenly disrupt your life and suddenly hurt your life and your family in such a deep way. And, and these are the people who love you. So I, I think the story needs to be told. I think all sides need to be told, and I don't intend to preach. And in fact, all of the characters in the play are fine. And no one's perfect, and none of us are angels. And we all just need to see that and forgive and love. And uh, I have no idea what to expect from Serbian audiences, but I saw the play last night, and. They were into it and they were so present and they were listening and um, all we can hope for is that an audience will listen. I don't ask for anyone to agree with me, I ask for someone to have a discussion with me. So if you disagree, let's talk about it. Let's, let's not shut down, let's not build up a barrier. I need another drink. Me too. Are you sure? Shh, shh, it's just shh, getting kind late. I am with adults, thank you, and having fun, thank you. I need a Chardonnay and pictures of babies, thank you. With one ice cube.